Hey guys, it is Stevie here, and today I am doing a review of all of the cleaning supplies I've kind of collected over the last six months, plus a review of Grove Collaborative. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you stick around. So basically, um, I have been collecting all of these products because I've never really tried these brands before. I normally just go for like the standard brands from Target. And I saw that they do have more organic and healthy brands for cleaning stuff. So I decided to give it a try because honestly, Grove Collaborative, you will see videos. If you type Grove Collaborative into the search bar on YouTube, you will find hundreds of videos from mommy channels that are all talking about Grove Collaborative. And all of the ones I've seen have been sponsored. So I am not sponsored, obviously. They've never sent me anything free. I pay for everything and sometimes when you see all of these mommy videos that are all pushing the same products, you get really curious and you want to try them. But I've been burned before so I definitely wanted to give Grove Collaborative kind of like a fair test to see if it's really worth ordering online versus just picking it up while you're out and about and kind of test out the products that they have because most of the products are a little bit more um, organic and earth friendly and all of that good stuff so and that's definitely a direction I'm taking with my family so I decided to check it out and first I think I'll go over Grove Collaborative how like how I've kind of enjoyed the service and if I still continue to use it because as I said I started six months ago with Grove Collaborative when How Jen Does It did like a little sponsored video with them so so I have been using it for quite a while and I will say I actually do order a majority of my products from Grove Collaborative now. My favorite brands that they sell are the Method brands which you can find at Target but they are kind of pricey and Grove Collaborative does have these products at a discount. Some of them are small discounts at like 5% and some go all the way up to like 25 or 30%. So you really never know, but every little bit does help because they are full price typically at Target. It is a pricier brand because it is a little bit more healthy. So that's why I kind of justify buying it on Grove Collaborative. As far as the shipping goes, the shipping is very fast. I usually get my products within a couple of days. Oh, sorry, I get out of breath really easily with this baby. Um, I usually get it within a couple of days, and up until about two or three weeks ago, I had placed my third or fourth order. Um, I haven't had an issue, but during the last order, I did have one of the products leak, um, and it didn't make a huge mess, thank goodness, because they package everything really well. Like, I will say that for sending, this was my biggest fear when I first ordered, but for sending a bunch of liquid cleaner products, they wrap it so well. They tape the top of it, and then they tape a baggie around it, and then they bubble wrap around all the bottles. So it is very well packaged. So I was really surprised that I did have a product leak. It was actually this product. It was the Caldrea Tangelo Palm Frond, <laughs> the linen and room spray. It did leak, um, not a ton, but it did leak. So I emailed them. And their response was to not only send me another one for free, but also to give me a credit on my account towards my next purchase. So I thought that was really awesome. The customer service seems to be really amazing. So that is kind of my impression of Grove Collaborative. I do really like it. I think some of the stuff it's easy to get kind of suckered in because it's all very cool and beautiful and they kind of make cleaning supplies seem awesome, which I think they're awesome anyways. But so I really like Grove Collaborative. I place an order about every other month. I don't need cleaning supplies every month, um, but I do place orders every other month with them to kind of restock or try new products quite a bit. Okay, so since I showed you this, let's just start off with this product. This is a linen and room spray by Caldrea. Um, aromatherapeutic homekeeping is what it says. So I do have it in the Tangelo palm frond. When I hear palm frond, I think of Moana. Does anybody else, has anyone else seen that movie so much that you hear palm frond and you think Moana? Um, and then I picked up the pear blossom agave. This one I like a lot better. Um, this one smells pretty good, but I think this one is, I think it's a lot better in my opinion. It's just a little bit less intense for me. 
and I will not be repurchasing these. They will take me forever to go through them. But um, once I've gone through them, I don't think I'll repurchase them because my impression of these is I spray the room, like I spray the room within an inch of its life because I noticed that if I spray it a reasonable amount so it doesn't like get overwhelming, it's gone within about five minutes. So if I spray it, like really spray everywhere, um, and spray multiple times, it will last for maybe an hour or two, but it's not really long lasting, which is kind of frustrating because for about 10 minutes, you are drowning in the smell. Like if you like really strong scents, you will like this, um, especially with the pregnancy. I am very sensitive to really strong smells right now. So um, normally the way that I do this is I will spray this before I leave to go grocery shopping in the mornings because I'm gone for like an hour. Um, I will spray my house and when I get back it's kind of like a nice subtle scent and then it's pretty much gone by lunchtime. Um, but I do like it, it's just not quite worth the money because this is kind of a pricier product and a pricier brand. Um, honestly I'd rather just leave my oil diffuser running because that tends to leave a really beautiful fresh scent and it's not overwhelming as long as you don't add too much of the essential oils obviously. But good product, not long lasting, really expensive, probably won't repurchase. Probably my favorite, probably my favorite product, um, which is ridiculous because I do love all of, like a lot of the stuff I got I really love, but I think my favorite is actually the Blood Orange Soy Candle. When I saw people talking about this and I saw the price of it and I was like, there's no way it is good enough to justify that price for that tiny little candle. Um, no, it is amazing. It is awesome. Oh, it is so fresh. It is so clean. It really like spreads throughout the house. It is gorgeous. My next order will have about three or four more of these because I want two downstairs, one in my bedroom, one in my bathroom. Like I want these everywhere in my house. They are so good. I wish that they had um, kind of more, f more scents to it that were more fruity. Um, I really have a hard time with really herby and like floral scents, they just don't work out for me. Okay, so this is the method glass and surface. As you can see, I have used almost all of it. I probably have another week's left in this. Um, I have already repurchased this and I'm about a quarter of the way through this one. Um, I do really, really enjoy these. I just really like the Method brand overall. I'm really glad that I tested it out. I was a little bit nervous because it is kind of pricey, but I love most of the stuff that I've tried out. So one miss with the Method brand is this Method foaming bathroom cleaner. Um, the smell is kind of nice. It kind of has like a, it makes me think of being at the spa kind of, because um, it is eucalyptus mint but this leaves streaks on my shower, so I really don't like that. And I've tried rinsing it, I've tried using it, I've followed the directions on it, I've tried doing different things with it. It's just kind of a streaky mess, um, but I haven't given up on the brand. I actually just decided to try this one. It's a daily shower cleaner and it's not foaming. So I haven't tried this yet because I just got this in the mail, um, and I do wanna go through this before I switch. So another one of my absolute favorites is the Method Antibacterial Bathroom Cleaner. This one is empty, like completely empty. Um, and that one was in Spearmint. And this one is almost empty. This has maybe one use left in it. And this is the Wildflower. I already have this set up to repurchase because they do have an option where you can set it up to auto send you every month whatever you need. I always turn that off because every month I kind of change my mind on what I want or what I need or if I have too much. So I like to hand pick what I get every month. But this is something that I go through a lot. I have three bathrooms here. It's a lot to keep up with. So I do go through bathroom cleaner a lot. And honestly, this is the best that I've ever used. I, I really love this antibacterial cleaner. So another Method brand product that I swear by is the Daily Granite Cleaner. Once again, I thought this was super gimmicky. My counters, I have granite, and my counters were fine. You know, any cleaner really worked. It was what it was. Um, I didn't really think that a specific granite cleaner would really be necessary, but my counters look so good. There is a visible difference, and at first I thought I was 
crazy and maybe just falling for the gimmick. So I actually one day when I first got this and I used it a couple times and I was like blown away, I decided to clean half of my house with this one and then the other half with just the all-purpose cleaner that I use. And I love this. I love this so much that I'm actually going to try the stainless steel cleaner because I do have a stainless steel fridge and dishwasher and it's streaky. Like no matter what I use, and I use the microfiber cloths when I clean, no matter what I use on it, Pledge or just an all-purpose all cleaner, it leaves a lot of streaks and it bugs me. <laughs> I don't like the streaks. As far as their all-purpose cleaners, I like them. I'm not crazy blown away by them. It's nothing like super astounding to me, but I like them and I like the scents that they carry these in. This one is the grapefruit and this one is clementine. With my sensitivity to smell with my pregnancy, I have to be really careful with what cleaners I use. Um, I really just cannot handle floral, herby scents right now. It's just it gives me migraines and it makes me very nauseous. Okay, so I only have this left, but this was a part of the free, I got some sort of like incentive when I signed up and they gave me a free Mrs. Meyers dish soap, um, uh, I think a hand soap and a lotion. The lotion I got in lavender and then these, the hand soap and the dish soap were in the lemon verbena. I used it all because it was there and I didn't want to open up a new one, but I hate the way these smell. Um, overall, Mrs. Meyers products, I've tried almost every scent because I do actually really like the formula and I like the benefits of using something that's biodegradable and organic and healthy, but I do not like any of the scents of these. I don't like any of them. I have not been able to get them to work for me. So not, not a big fan of these. One of the other things that I got for free was this Bone Ami um, Natural Home Cleaner. I like this for my stovetop. Um, I do have a gas stovetop. I really like this for my stovetop. And this works okay for my sink. It does leave like some like streaks on it. I do prefer a powder cleaner for my stainless steel sink because it leaves it so shiny and so pretty. But this one doesn't quite do the trick, so I'm gonna be trying a different brand, I think. I'm almost out of this stuff, so I'll be trying something else. So I do have um, two of these walnut scrubbers. Um, I've, pur I've repurchased these, this is a repurchase. I like these, but I go through these so fast that it's not worth it to me to keep buying them. I just went to Costco and I bought the Scotch Bright ones um, because honestly, I do love that these are organic and earth friendly, but it's just, I throw these out. I go through sponges. I read somewhere that you're supposed to throw them out after every few days, and these are just too expensive to do that. So I do go through the cheaper ones, the Scotch ones, and um, I like these a lot, but I, I can't justify repurchasing them. So the final thing that I got when I signed up is this cute little Grove Collaborative like um, caddy. It's just, you see how small that is, right? So the point of a caddy for me is so I can keep my supplies in one child safe place and then carry them up and down with me. This is so small, it only fits a couple of things in here. Um, and I use so many different cleaners, if you can't tell. This doesn't really work for me in that aspect. I normally just put my upstairs cleaners in it, and then I'll just grab it, take it upstairs, and it'll go up and down the steps with me. But I really would like a bigger caddy that can carry more stuff. So that is probably what I will be doing. Okay, so I just have a few more things, and then I'm going to talk about laundry detergent. Okay, so I did purchase the Caldrea Tangelo Palm Frond countertop spray. Smells nice, still not as good as my granite cleaner, but I do like this for the bathrooms, especially my guest bathroom. It makes it smell kind of like bougie and fancy and, you know, it makes it seem like I keep a very clean home, which I try, but I do have a toddler. So I do love that. However, when that runs out, I'm gonna be refilling that bottle with this. This is the all-purpose cleaner with the pear blossom scent, which I like better. I really like this scent. Um, if I can find it in a, like a candle, I'm gonna buy it. I really do enjoy this scent quite a bit. 
So for stain remover, this is not from Grove Collaborative. I think they sell it, but I actually found this at TJ Maxx. I use the Honest Company stain remover and I swear by this stuff. I've been using it for months. Hardly any of it is gone. It really takes just the smallest amount and it can remove any stain. I mean, I have a three and a half year old and all of her clothes have been totally salvageable, which is really nice. And then this is back from my couponing days. So, so one day I will do a whole video on why I couponed, why I stopped, how I save money now, and if I use any coupons at all. Because I did used to be of the more extreme kind of couponer. And as a matter of fact, I have like 20 of these bottles of this stuff, and I'd never really used it because I was going through all of my other cleaners. Uh, but I finally got to around to using this stuff, and I do really enjoy this quite a bit. So this is the Liquid Muscle Multi-Purpose Cleaner. Um, and basically you can dilute this with water and I use this on my floors. I love the way it smells. I love the way that it cleans. It doesn't leave like a stickiness on the floor where your shoes are squeaking and everything. So I really enjoy this. I do have a ton just for my couponing days. I do have a ton of just like the normal mop stuff. Um, I just don't really use it because I've discovered this and I can't live without it now. It's really good stuff. Okay, so the final thing I want to talk about is laundry detergent. I do not have any to show you guys because I am currently using the all free and clear upstairs and I just have like the big tub of it, um, which is what I used to use, but I've gone back to it. So off of Grove Collaborative, I ordered the seventh generation, um, I'll link it below, the seventh generation cleaning or the laundry detergent. And I ordered it in the free and clear and in like the um, citrus scent. And I didn't like any of them. When you pulled out your clothes, they kind of smelled worse than when they went in. Like they didn't smell clean at all. They still smelled kind of gross and musty and like, you know, like dirty clothes, but just wet, dirty clothes. But I do have, I would have to wash my clothes multiple times just to get them to smell slightly clean, but they never smelled like clean clothes. Um, even when you use a free and clear detergent and there's no scent to it, they still have a clean smell when they come out of the washing machine. Um, unfortunately, with the seventh generation laundry detergents, that did not happen. So I don't use those. I don't like them. I don't recommend them. They're just not for me. I don't know if like because my three-year-old's always covered in mud and dirt and like, you know, she, she plays and kids get messy and they get covered in paint and Play-Doh. and. I don't know if it's because we're just rough on our clothes or what, but it was just not my favorite cleaner. It was not my favorite laundry detergent at all. I have also tried the seventh, or not the seventh generation, the Honest um, laundry detergent. Really love that stuff. I will probably buy more of that, but you can usually find it cheaper than Grove Collaborative if you go to your local TJ Maxx. So I do love that. I will probably be repurchasing that next because we are beginning to run low on laundry detergent. Um, or I'm going to buy Purcell. Purcell. They sell it at Walmart and I really want to try it. I've heard nothing but good things. And I've heard that it's pretty good for cloth diapering. So I kind of want to check that out. We will probably be cloth diapering our new baby. So um, I'm kind of looking for a detergent that I can use on both our clothes and the cloth diapers that will work for everybody's needs. So that's kind of where I'm at on those things. Um, I will be leaving a link with my referral code for Grove Collaborative. Once again, this is not sponsored. Um, I just have a link where if you click on it, you get a couple bucks off your first order, free shipping or something, and then I get the same, I think. Um, I'm not sure of the details. I'll write them in the description box below, but even without that referral code, Grove Collaborative is something that I 100% support. I actually really love them and I love their customer service and I will have another big order because I do have, I need to buy more of this and I'm probably going to buy two at a time since I go through these on average once a month, but I order once every other month. So I will be stocking up on these but I will do a haul as soon as I get my next order. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the description box or not. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.